Um, I'm Campbell Jurgens, and I went to Nara Anglian College and I went to that school because it offered engineering. I made a project called the Bin Buddy um, and the Bin Buddy is a device that helps people get their bins to the roadside. Um, it does this by connecting onto the back of um, a tow bar or tow ball of a car um, and then lifting the bins up off the ground with its mechanism and then allowing the driver to drive down to the roadside, drop the bins off and um, place the device back in the back of the car. It's aimed at people that have a really long driveway um, and also the elderly as um, getting their bins to the roadside can be a big issue. Um, so this is a light portable means to get their bins to the roadside. Our driveway is about 100 metres long so it wasn't too much of a for our sort of um, use but yeah that's sort of you know I, I walk it down it's not too long of a walk but it's long enough to not want to do it. <laughs> So yeah, I guess a little bit of inspiration came from there. I live in a rural area and um, I can see a lot of people struggle with long driveways and getting their bins to the roadside. So in seeing that problem, um, I came up with a design that would fit that need um, and would help those people out. So I started off by doing a mind map and identifying the issues and the function and the um, need that my project would have to fulfil. Um, and so once I did that, then I had a rough idea of what this thing needed to you know, be able to function like. Um, I then started um, doing a lot of sketches of how um, a project could meet, meet that need. 50 sketches of different designs that would, you know, not exactly fit on the tow ball, but different methods of doing, of getting the bins to the roadside. Um, and then after that, I made a CAD drawing um, that would um, sort of put together the ideas that I'd come up with in my sketches and then I could see it in 3D and see how it would function and stuff. Um, I then made a wooden mock-up um, which was just a basic quick mock-up so I could just sort of figure out the sizes and if the thing you know would look all right and how it would function. Um, and then after that I refined my ideas and I did another um, CAD drawing in which I did more detail and I did more precise things like, such as the locking mechanism that I would use. Um, uh, then after that I made a metal prototype of that CAD drawing um, and so that's when I started to learn a lot of the metal working uh, skills that I would need to do the project. Then after that I went back and did another um, CAD um, design um, and that one was really in, de in detail so that was the final design that I would work off. So I made all the locking mechanisms that I would use and all the precise you know, details and you know, um, sizes that I would use. And then after that, I made the final product. I did the mock-ups and the prototypes really quite early so I could sort of get a really good feel on how the project would actually look like and how it would function. So I didn't leave it to the last minute to you know, quickly put it all together. Although at the last you know, week and a half, two weeks, that was a bit of a rush sort of getting the folio together. Um, I hadn't started working with metal um, before I started doing this project really. Like I've done a little bit, a little bit of metal work but not, not to the degree that I needed to do my project with. So learning the skills that required like the welder, I had to weld, first time I ever welded. Um, that was a big challenge for me because I had only you know, a limited time to learn all those skills to a degree. That was good enough for the HSC. Well, I, my personal opinion, I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it worked out, especially um, along the way it looked pretty rough, like with the metal you know, flying everywhere and I had to really sand it back and make it look pretty. But I think at the end of it, it looks really good, it functions really well, and it meets a need, which I'm really happy it does.